God bless everyone who's watching me right about now. Brothers and sisters, this is yet another beautiful day. Remember that every single day I release these powerful words of encouragement. So if it so happens that you have not received a word for today, just type in my channel name and you will see a powerful new word that I've released. Now, brothers and sisters, I welcome those who are new to this channel. You are welcome to this great family. Remember, we are the body of Christ. And the body of Christ, uh, if a hand is missing, the whole body suffers. If the legs and eyes are missing, the whole body suffers because the hands, the legs, and eyes have different functionality. So you, my brothers and sisters, are the, as the body of Christ, you have work to do. Don't think that you are useless. You are not useless. You are very useful to the kingdom of God. So it is time that you stand up and do what God has called you to do. Brothers and sisters, even just sharing this powerful word, you have done your part. Just liking this word, you have done. A lot of people do not know the power of liking the video. That there is an algorithm that recommends these videos when you like it, when you share this word, when you leave your comment, when you leave your testimony right here in the comment section. So keep doing it, and God will bless you. Now, my brothers and sisters, the word is, they tried to kill you while you were young, but now they are regretting. Your enemies tried to kill you. Sorcerers tried to kill you. Haters tried to kill you. They used a lot of weapons. Not only one weapon did they use to kill you when you were young, but they used a lot of weapons. Even right now, they are still trying. Maybe they are saying you put, let your guard off. That's why they are crying. Remember, the enemy does not give up. He keeps on trying. You defeat him today, he goes. And he keeps on trying. He keeps on trying. He's, he keeps on coming back in different forms. But the same enemy comes back in different forms. Some of them use weapons in form of words. A lot of people don't know that words are weapons that words are powerful, that the tongue has power to life and death. Some of them cast you right when you were young. They used negative words. Some of them got your clothes and took them to shrines, to altars. Some of them your property, some of your properties, your belongings are right on the altars of the enemy. They're trying to destroy your life. And they have tried to destroy your life. But now, now they are regretting because it has backfired. That which they are trying to destroy, they do not know it. It has now backfired. In fact, some of them have now become crazy because of you. They have gone mad. Because they tried to, uh, to touch the anointed one. They tried to touch you, not knowing that you were so anointed. You were so powerful. Some of them tried to kill you, as I said, when you were young, a young baby. They use your relatives. They use all sorts of means. You see, I'll give you an example of Jesus. That the enemy knew exactly who Jesus Christ of Nazareth was. So the enemy used King Herod. Now when King Herod heard that there was another king, baby, who was to be born, he sent people to kill. He sought to kill the baby Jesus. But the angel of the Lord came to Joseph in a dream and warned him. He told him to flee to Egypt because King Herod seeks to kill the baby Jesus. Brothers and sisters, sometimes you need to flee. Sometimes one of the ways is to flee. Joseph had to flee with the baby Jesus at that moment to Egypt, to Africa. 
So sometimes you don't have to fight. You don't have to do anything, just to flee. And there are times where you need to stand, not to fight, but to stand in prayer. That is how things are working. And you see, there are some of them that try to kill you when you are spiritually young. Remember, when you are born again, the moment you become born again, the moment you receive Jesus Christ of Nazareth as your Lord and Savior, you now become a uh, uh, a child of God. That's why I say a child of God. Now you are a spiritual baby. So they try to kill you. Some of you, you can even testify this. That the moment you accepted Jesus, you received attack from attack. All sorts of temptations. All sorts of people. Your friends left you. They laughed at you. And some of it is still happening. People are leaving you. The moment they hear news that you are a Christian, the moment they knew, know that you are a child of God. You see, the enemy has seen the calling of God upon your life. So what he's trying to do is to destroy you. But now they are regretting why they attacked you. In fact, they want to reverse it. But it's, they cannot change it. Brothers and sisters, this is a word for you. To encourage you. To never give up in life. That no matter what attack you are going through, I know some of you are going through spiritual warfare, stand on the promises of God. That spiritual warfare, if you stand on the promises of God, if you remain in God, you will overcome. Brothers and sisters, this is the end of this word. Remember that I have a Facebook page and you can follow me on that Facebook page. You can find it uh, in the about section. You will find that on my page, I release powerful words of encouragement for you that are not that are different from what I release on this channel. So it is important that you follow two pages that uh, your spiritual life is uh, growing day and day. Brothers and sisters, until next time, God bless you.